The Titan was officially experimental. It wasn't certified. That means Ocean Gate couldn't even dive with it legally here in the harbor in St. John's. They had to take it out into international waters. So Ocean Gate shouldn't have been doing what it was doing. I think that's pretty clear. One of the people now speaking out is James Cameron. The director of the Titanic movie has made 33 dives to the wreck. He also built his own submarine. Cameron says he didn't believe in the Titan's carbon fiber hull and regrets not speaking out earlier. It's the Ocean Gate Titanic experience. Look, we celebrate innovation, right? But you shouldn't be using an experimental vehicle for, for paying passengers. The search continues at the site. The U.S. Coast Guard says it's mapping the two debris fields found on the ocean floor. There may now be overlapping investigations. Canada's Transportation Safety Board confirmed Friday it is investigating the Titan tragedy. Also, Global News has learned the TSB is in negotiations with the U.S. Transportation Safety Board and the U.S. Coast Guard over roles and responsibilities. In terms of jurisdiction, it is complicated. The vessel was lost about 680 kilometers from St. John's in international waters. The victims were from four different countries, Pakistan, the U.S., France, and the U.K. And the ship that launched the Titan, the Polar Prince, is Canadian. Add to that the fact something like this tragedy isn't covered by the United Nations Law of the Seas. It covers things like extraction of minerals uh, from the seabed and fishing, but it doesn't really cover um, things like submersibles. Treat it like a crime scene. Oceanographer David Gallo hopes there are answers that lead to safer vehicles. This disaster is the first implosion of a submersible with passengers on board. He says it's something the community has feared but expected. We knew that we were lucky to go this long with manned submersibles and not have that kind of an accident. And yet, when it happened, we were all stunned. Like, it ha you know, it happened. Now, TSB investigators are on their way here to St. John's, as is the ship that launched the Titan Sunday. The Polar Prince is expected here in the harbor early Saturday morning. Farah? Mike Armstrong in St. John's. Thanks, Mike.